application of derivative tangent line so here's the very first question of our set determine the value of a given that the line ax minus 4y plus 21 equals to 0 is tangent to the graph of y equals to a over x square at x equals to minus 2. Now when we say that this line is tangent to a graph at x equals to minus 2, then we mean to say that x equals to minus 2 has a common point between line and the graph, right? So this point exists on both graph and the line, the curve and the line, correct? So we are going to use that as a strategy to solve our problem. So we have y equals to a over x square, right? Now if x equals to minus 2, what is the value of y? In that case, y will be equals to a over minus 2 square, right? That gives us the value a over 4. So the coordinate point is basically x value is minus 2 and the y value is a over 4, right? So that is the coordinate point on the given function. Now, the question is that this line is tangent to this curve. That means this point lies on the line. And so we can substitute this point on the line and find the unknown value of a. Do you understand? That is how we are going to solve it. So we'll substitute x as minus 2 in our line equation, which x is minus 2, minus 4 times y is a over 4, plus 21 equals to 0. So from this, we have an equation in a, and we can solve for a, correct? We get minus 2a, minus a, plus 21 equals to 0. So this is minus 3a plus 21 equals to 0. So we can solve this for a now. So we have 3a equals to 21. And a equals to 21 over 3, that is 7. You see that? The a is 7. And therefore, the equation of lines should be 7x minus 4y plus 21 equals to 0, right? So the question is, determine the value of a and therefore we can write down our answer as a equals to 7. So I hope you understand the strategy, how we really found this solution. You will appreciate that we didn't really use any derivative in this. That's funny, but it's the very first question to make you understand what it is all about. When we say that the line is tangent on a curve, then we are actually saying that they have a common point. The point lies on the line as well as on the curve. And that helped us to find the solution. Now in the coming two problems, we'll actually find the equation of tangent line at the given point. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.